I'm gonna be picking up my fiance at the airport tomorrow. <laughs> It's Rehana. I thought I would vlog the next few days because I'm still settling in so there's gonna be a lot of house stuff going on a lot of meeting up with friends and also I'm gonna be picking up my fiance at the airport tomorrow and we've been long distance for a while now a year and we're officially ending the long distance so tomorrow will be the last time one of us picks each other up as a long distance couple which is amazing like I know long distance relationships are beautiful and it's amazing how two people can commit to each other, even though they're miles away, the time difference, all of that. But I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm so happy he's back. So I'm very excited about that. But anyways, today I have a busy day as well. I'm going to meet my friends for lunch in Amsterdam. And we've signed up. Like we've, we've all, the three of us, lived in the Netherlands for quite a few years now. But we signed up for a walking tour around Amsterdam because um, their friend, my friends, it's their friend that's organizing it. So we signed up and I thought it would be fun to kind of like walk off obviously our food coma that we will for sure have because we're having dim sum and duck. So yeah, after dim sum, we're gonna go for a walking tour and then I have a full night of shopping. I need to get ingredients for laksa because I wanna cook that for Kevin because that's his favorite meal that I make and some house stuff like places to put my shoes and things like that so i should be getting off now it's very cold like the weather has dropped this past week to like one and even in the negative sometimes so i'm gonna layer up i'm gonna put something under this i have my wool coat and i'm gonna get a hat and a scarf and all of that and we're gonna go i'm so excited for dim sum you have no idea and i'm excited to get out of this building because it's people have just been drilling non-stop today and i'm it's time to leave oh we have a cctv now <laughs> hello girl my reflection in the tea Just got back from a major shopping haul. I went to Action first and I got a shoe shelf, shoe rack, because currently my shoes are just like this and I still have more shoes in boxes. Kevin printed some pictures of us and I was unpacking a box and I found them and I was like, oh, I should, you know, frame a couple of them. This was on Action. I got this, what do you call it? A bathroom bin as well. And then, whoops, about to fall over there. I went to Dylan Camille, which is like one of my favorite stores. It's so fun to shop there and at um, Sostrena Frena, I don't know how you pronounce that. There's um, a series of photos of us at a concert and it's three photos and they kind of just like go along with each other. So I was searching online where I could buy a frame for three photos and I got that. These much needed because I've just been throwing my coat on like the floor, <laughs> basically. And then I also went to the Asian store. I'm making laksa because Kevin is coming home to the Netherlands. So I wanted to make him a little comfort meal because he loves my laksa. 
And then I went to Albert Hein and I was really craving like toasted bread with jam. So I got baguettes to throw in the oven, some cleaning stuff, and then some more things for my laksa. I ended up having to take this apart completely. Well, not completely, but like all the bars and do it manually, which kind of beats the purpose of selling it the way they sold it and saying it was foldable and everything. I don't know. I was not expecting to do that, but whatever, I guess. I'm kind of a fail. The photos that, like I said, I have three photos um, of a set of events and like, Here's one. I measured this. This was 10 times 15. And this is 10 times 15. So I thought, okay, I'll trim trim just the edge of it so that I get like a little bit of the glass. But it's like, do you see that? <laughs> they lied. Not even the frame is 10, 15. That's like shorter for sure. And I can't cut it because he wrote notes on all the photos that he printed. I'm going to blur that because, I mean... It's nothing scandalous, it's just a little bit personal. So I can't like crop it, you know? Because then I would crop his little notes, which is... Beats the whole purpose because I wanted the clear frames so... That like I could see the notes behind it. <sighs> a bit disappointed, but what can you do? So they're doing the most to prep for this wedding. This is going to be the most high scale, high profile event ever. It is 12.30 and Kevin lands at 13.20, so I'm quickly 
wrapping up everything and leaving now. I have his coat and his scarf and his hats and everything. So we're gonna bring that to him because he will be landing to some cold, cold Dutch Western European weather. So yes, I'm so excited. Probably won't film much because I'll just be like too antsy, but <laughs> I'll have some airport clips here. A very happy update i got the shelves up and i started putting things on them already and today got a washing machine delivery i'm already putting in my first load it's been like three weeks now because i've been doing laundry at my friend's house because i dog sit for him anyway so it was like a little barter deal <laughs> but finally have i was gonna get a samsung but apparently bosch is like the machine to go with um, so, got a Bosch. Very grown-up purchase. I am so excited and very proud. I got mail from Kevin from Shibuya, Tokyo. So cute. <laughs> Address to Rehana Mariani, my wolf. <laughs> Hello. Things to pick up and... Yes, I know. Hello! I can hear it. <laughs> yeah. yes. Hi! Hey! I know, side project. Cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can wait till next week to play. Okay. 